There are a lot of people who are biting their fingers in fear that they might lose their jobs. But there are few people who have decided within themselves, I'm going to make it. Some people aren't waiting to be cut. Some people are moving on their own because they feel within themselves, I've got what it takes to make it. They're not afraid about tomorrow because of how they see themselves, because of what they feel that they deserve, because of what they feel that they can create for themselves. Because these people have decided, as they look at the future, as they look at themselves, there's a way. Where there's a will, there's a way for me to begin to create a way out of no way. And when you have that kind of consciousness, when you have that kind of spirit, nothing can stop you. Nothing. What would your life be like as you look toward the future if you decided, I'm not going to allow my fears to stop me? What would your life be like? What would your future be like if you decided to, to want that which you desire so strongly that it prepares you past your fears, that you experience the fear, as the one book says, feel the fear and do it anyway. What would your life be like? And I'm saying to you that all of us who have been entombed by fear have the capacity to resurrect ourselves. When you are not filling your life with the things that you are capable of doing, see, we all have some stuff that we've been given. And I don't think that it's optional for us to sit on what we have. See, if you're sitting on what you have, what you've been given, and I think everybody's been given something to bring to the planet, that only you can do that, only you can perform that, only you can initiate that activity. And if you don't do that, if you're not filling in your life with your life work or your mission, then there are gaps in your life. And what we do when we're not living out our true identity, we begin to fill the gaps. We fill the holes with garbage, alcohol, drugs, worry, self-destructive behavior. So when you begin to look at your life, and you know that, that you're not doing what you can do because you have allowed yourself to be held captive by your fears. Now, when you don't have a true appreciation and acceptance for who you are, and you allow yourself to be immobilized by fear, what happens in the process is that you begin to abuse yourself. You begin to sabotage your life, you begin to sabotage your dreams, you begin to unconsciously work against yourself you become your own worst enemy. So what do you do about that? Well, you, you begin to realize that your dream and your gifts have so much meaning and so much value for you till your hunger for them will begin to push you past the fear. Your hunger to have them will give you a special drive. As you work on yourself, as you begin to acknowledge your true identity, the true power that you have, the true capacity you have to bring about change, the miracle working power that you have within yourself to do the things that you want to do. I don't care how much you work on yourself, there are some times when things aren't going to go right. They just are not going to go right. There are times when anything that can happen will happen. Murphy's Law will be knocking at your door. Why? I don't know why. That's called life. And you have to deal with it. Sometimes your life will be in a slump. I suggest to you that if you are facing a challenge, don't stop. Stay busy. Work your plan. Continue to do those things that you know that work for you after you have evaluated yourself in the situation. Continue to move, stay busy, stay busy, stay busy.